praise God. This is a pop. A prophet is Deanna Dixon. Y'all know that's by habit, right? All right. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to wait till you guys come on. Oh, that's such a, I guess I've been saying it for so long, right? So, um, I don't know if you all see my title. Uh -oh, let me get this one. I'm going to wait till you guys get up on here. Alrighty, hold on. Sorry about the shakiness of everything. Okay. Let me turn this ringer down. I'm going to wait till you guys get up on here. And then I'm going to go. Oh, praise God, praise God. All righty. Look like you guys are on here. I'm turning this volume down. Okay, praise God, praise God. So this is a follow-up to the um the video I did the other day, about actually three days ago. <laughs> God is something else, huh? He he God is a God of numbers, God is strategic. Praise God, praise God. So it is nice to see you all. Praise God, hallelujah. Thank you for joining. Okay, so that was just the first video. <laughs> and I understood that because God was like, everything is in order. So I couldn't just say, okay, I'm not an apostle anymore and not address the students because I've taught hundreds over 20 from 2014, even to now. Now I stopped ordaining around 2016, 2017. I, st I stopped ordaining. Okay. So basically this is for everyone that I ever ordained because first of all, I taught so many students. I want to be in order. Every prophet, you are definitely a prophet. You are truly a prophet. All right. If I ordained you. Secondly, every apostle that I ordained, let me go ahead and explain something now. Because I relinquished and denounced my title, your title now becomes not effective because I'm saying so as of now. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you're saying apostle, well, when you ordained us. It's the same thing with me. Prophets, oh Lord, I'm about to get into, I'm about to go all the way and peel this onion. There's three types of prophets. There's the prophet that anybody can prophesy because God's spirit is upon you, especially in these last days. Then there's the office of a prophet to where you can see and hear. Um, this things go so deep. I mean, oh Lord, it goes deep. And then there's another type of prophet where all you do is hear. So if I ordained you an apostle, that's because you had all the gifts, seeing, hearing, dreaming, prophesying, out-of-body experiences. Those that are prophets understand what I'm saying. And that's why I don't understand. Everybody, let me tell you something. The enemy hates prophets. <laughs> let me say that again. The enemy hates prophets because prophets shift nations, shift worlds, shift dimensions because you are the mouthpiece of God. That's nothing to play with. But the enemy has infiltrated the office. That's why I stopped ordaining in 2016, 2017. I don't remember which one. So I'm I'm undoing everything I did. Everything I did in error, I have to. It, do, it just doesn't start with, okay, I'm not an apostle anymore. I have to undo everything, says the Lord. And so I'm publicly saying it. If I ordained you an apostle, you are no longer an apostle. But you go back down to being a prophet. Because I've been teaching prophetic classes, which were ordained by God. Let, let's get that straight. Since 2014. So, and that is in order. Because I am a prophet. You understand? So, don't be discouraged. Um, I don't... Honestly, you're going to have to tear up your paperwork. Now, you don't have to. You can be disobedient and do what you want to do, or you can be obedient because I'm making it publicly known. So um, I'm going to be honest with you. This wasn't an easy thing, and it's not an easy thing for everybody else, apparently, because um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you all right now, the attacks is crazy. <sighs> How can I say it? People just don't want to be in order. I've always been the type of person. That when God shows me an error, especially if it's me or anyone else, y'all know that. If you've been rocking with me all these years, you know how I operate. Error is error and no one is above it. I've taught that the whole time I've been up on here. No one is above error. If you are in error, correct it in the story. And I know it's hard for some people because it's like, I mean, even when I started this live, even when I start all my lives, I got to I got to remind myself, OK, you can't say apostle. You can't say apostle. You understand what I'm saying? So I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand this is not a game. This is not a game because God woke me up early this morning and said, you know what you got to do today? I said, yes, Lord. 
You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of people, the body of Christ have been in error for so long into it's it's conditioning. It's a conditioning. Come on, somebody. It's a conditioning. So the enemy knows exactly what he's doing. But God, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. God knows how to shift that thing. God knows how to stop the thing. And I'm going to tell you why God is doing this. It's not to hurt you. He says everything must be in order. The body of Christ is out of order. And guess what? I'm coming back on in about five minutes because I'm going to do a backup of the original one I did about being an apostle. How, how I denounced it. All right. Point blank in the story. So, again, don't feel dismayed. Don't feel any kind of way. But you knew it was coming. If you saw me denounce it, you knew, OK, apostle going to address the student sooner or later. That That's just order. I, I There's no could have said that and not come back and address everything I taught. If I taught something in error, I'm going to be the first one to say I was in error. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. It's something about, it's something about the order of God. If you're not in order, then there's this order. And if there's this order, the body can't flow. Hallelujah. Don't you understand? And the enemy knows that. Oh, the enemy's slick. Oh, he's slick. He's slick. He's slick. But God said in this last hour, in these last days, I, I, I'm redefining. I keep hearing it. I'm redefining the body of Christ. I'm redefining what I got to do. I'm redefining you. God says, because that's my church. That's not your church. And people have been out of order for so long until it's almost comfortable. And, and to be honest with you, it, I had, uh, I'm, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off out here because I'm telling, I'm telling you I'm coming back. So please join me back. There had one woman, she came and she said, um, I believe that's just for you. That's not for us. I was like, <laughs> I know I, I, I could have got her. I could have got her. But you have to understand. And I'm telling everybody, don't beat people up. Don't bash people. Everybody's in a process. It's just like a person that dresses sexy at church. All right. I'm going to give you an example. I mean, everybody knows that you're, you're supposed to cover up. But if that person just joined church or if God has not processed that person yet in their mind and then their spirit, you don't have the right to say, oh, she knows she no, she don't. She probably don't. She's probably over taken to a rubber bait mind because that's what happens when you've been doing something for so long. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You tend to think that it's OK. You tend to think that it's that that's the way it's supposed to be. And it's not. Hallelujah. But I thank God. I'm going to say it again. I thank God. I'm going to say it one more time. I thank God for order. Hallelujah, because I always want to be in order. It is not about me. It is not about status. It is not about titles. It is not. We are servants of God. And I don't care what you say. God say, I am correcting what has been wrong. Hallelujah. He said, every infrastructure is coming down, thus said the Lord. And that's what thus said the Lord. Oh, you can count on it. He said, I'm tearing down everything that's not of me. Everything. Hallelujah. He's not playing. <laughs> He's not playing. He's serious. Hallelujah. So I'm going to get back up on here because I have to, um, like I said, I'm going to do a double up. And because I got to tell you what thus said the Lord again, God was saying to me, he said, Deanna, they don't understand how important this is when there's oh, no, I don't want to get back. In, I don't want to get into that second video. I'm coming right back on because he wants it to be separate. So I have to keep it separate. I will be right back. Okay. So God bless you. God keep you. And to every student, I'm going to go ahead and publicly apologize if I've taught you an error. I was wrong and may God forgive me. And I pray that you do too. If I've said or done anything that was not of God, point blank in the story, I am not too proud to say anything that God want me to say. I would not, <laughs> I would not lead people wrong. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. So I love you. I've always have, always will, because that's who I am. So y'all know what time it is. Real life soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.